We got a lot of food for Slinky. We have not been hanging out in Slinky. Oh, look at who smelled the food. This is gonna be a big feeding for the Slinkers. Look at how excited he gets. Come on up, there you go. Look at that, good job. I got a big piece here, you gotta chase it. You got to chase it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, Slinky, oh, you gotta be fast. Easy boy, that's my foot, that's my foot. What's going on everyone, Ken in here, and we are gonna be feeding Pinky and Slinky. We have not seen Slinky in a little while, so I thought, why not hang out with him and his gal? Uh, I figured you guys would dig that. We sincerely thank all of you happy campers out there. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kenning. This week's special shout out goes to Jennifer Marino. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. So I'm gonna open this up. She's already right there. You guys can see her kind of getting a smell of that chicken bone I got here for her. So we're gonna try and get her excited with that bone. There, there you go. There you go, little one. We're gonna hold on to it. Trying to do things nicely here. She's got a nice meal right there. She's looking pretty good, guys. And uh, yeah, so she's gonna get bone, she's gonna get skin, she's gonna get flesh, all that good stuff in her mouth. And she's gonna swallow it right up, no problem. And she will be able to digest all that. So don't you worry about her. So we are gonna be moving her out. She's probably gonna go live with Jerry at his house here eventually, because we are gonna be getting some other animals in this enclosure. And uh, it's gonna be pretty amazing when you guys see who's coming to the camp. So. I think she'll do really well at Jerry's house because he's got males that are actually large enough for her. Or, you know, since Slinky is so big, he's got monitors that are about her size, which is important. And uh, we want her to be happy. Let's get this. We're going to get her over here away from the door. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's see her move. I like to get these guys to move a little bit whenever. Come on, little one. There you go. Good girl gingerly taking it so she's gonna get those two and I think that's gonna be enough for her today so very good stuff we got to keep my feet out of her mouth because you know she gets a little excitable all right there little pinky we love you let's get on and hang out with uh, the big daddy here we're gonna go hang with the big dad big doggy daddy and that is of course slinky man he is looking good it's nice and warm he's happy we're gonna go ahead and lock this back up and scramble the uh, ah, scramble the old combo. Let's head over here. We got a lot of food for Slinky. We have not been hanging out in Slinky. Oh, look at who smelled the food. Holy smokes, he's already over here. Big boy. He is pretty good at smelling his dinner. Um, oh, these guys haven't eaten in a couple of days, so I'm gonna give him a good feeding. And of course, this is uh, gonna be a big feeding for the Slinkers. Hold on, I gotta open this. All right, we're opening Slinky's house. Look at how excited he gets. Come on, come on up. There you go, there you go. But I want to get in there with him. We got to go in and hang with the Slinks. Now, if I walk behind him, he'll whip me. Here, move. Yeah, move. You got to move. Don't whip me. Oh, my God, he's going to whip me. I know it. Come here, Slinky. Come here, Slinky. Look at this guy. Doesn't want to get out. He just wants his food. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh. Come on, you gotta work for it. Ah, it's a boy. You gotta work. You gotta work. Up, up, up. Come on up here. Come on up here, Slinky. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, pull it. Oh, good boy. We want him to chew it. We want him to tear it. Well, actually, he doesn't really chew now, does he? Look at that. Good job. Good job. Come on. Oh, I got a big piece here. I got a big piece here. You gotta chase it. You got to chase it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, almost, almost, up here, up here. That's a boy. Oh gosh, he's got it. He's got it. Not a problem for Slinky. He is just so happy in this environment. You can see that he digs, um, but don't worry because this whole thing is sealed. He can't get out. But I just love the fact that he's able to dig when he wants and do his thing. Let's go, let's go with this. Let's go with this size. Let's get him out across the water. Come on, get in that water. Get in that water. Look at this nice lily pad we got. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. oh come on. Come on, Slinky. Oh, you gotta be fast. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. I love him, man. He is, uh, of course, an Asian water monitor, for those of you who don't know Slinky. And um, he is about eight years old now. 
and looking fantastic. We almost lost him uh, a couple of years ago. You want to see him swim again, friends, or how about we... Oh, no, he's got it. Oh, I want to take that back. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, it's all over. It's all done. That's it. See, nothing left. Nothing left there. Let's go ahead and throw this over here, and we'll pull this closed, and we'll hang out with Slinky, and you can just see the difference he is. He's worked up because of his food, but he knows that I'm not food, and it's a really cool thing to have happen. I'm just going to keep my hand as a fist. Let's see. Just going to relax. He's looking. I know I do have the smell of chicken on my hand, but he knows there is no more chicken. Now, this might be considered a little foolhardy because accidents can happen, but I'm going to let him know that there's no food. See this? And I'm very calm with him now. He needs to tone it down. That feeding frenzy's over. And now it's just interaction time with him. Big lizard. But these are very smart lizards. The monitors are incredible. From the smallest, like the Ackies, to the largest, like Komodo dragons, and of course Slinky, who's an Asian water monitor. They're very, very intelligent, and they know who you are when you do keep these animals. That being said, they are a dangerous animal if you make a mistake. Um, you want to be careful with them. Slinky and I have been together a very, very long time, and I still give him the respect he deserves because he's a large animal, and you just want to be careful. And the cool thing about him is we've built this trust up over many, many years. And how I've done it, let me just keep him right here. How I've kind of done it, friends, is give him a large enough enclosure that he feels secure in, that he can get away from me at, that he can kind of do what he wants to do. A lot of people, like Kevin from Nerd, they have a different technique, and it works. Kevin's uh, really a master of monitors. Um, but my whole thing is just letting Slinky do his thing. Let him come to me on his terms. Once he got big enough to understand that he, you know, he had a kind of a confidence when he got to be full grown, it was really cool because he started to interact with me in a different way. Uh, that being said, if I do come up behind him when he's got food, he feels like I'm going to take it away. So he'll give me a little bit of a whip. Uh, he did that actually when he grabbed a water snake a few years back also. See his tail? See how that's his body language I need to learn. So I'm crowding him a little bit. See? <laughs> you see what I mean? Uh, he didn't get me, but that would have hurt. But just a little flick of his tail like that is really um, his way of letting me know he wasn't comfortable with that. So again, uh, pretty interesting. But I want to follow along with him because I want you guys to see his behavior and how he kind of interacts with this really cool habitat we, that we built here uh, between my buddy Jerry building the structure with me and then of course they, and then of course our friends at Aquascape who built this beautiful water feature. We're really getting to see how he handles it, what he gets to do. Oh, that's my foot slinky. That's my hand slinky. You see, back in the... Uh, if he can't really see what I'm doing, he's got the scent of the chicken, so he gets a little excited. But you see how he stopped himself? He realized that I am not food. So very, very cool stuff here. Yes, yes you are. Very, very good boy. Now he's not like Lobo, he's not a dog. He's not something that I would consider domestic, but he is an animal that is able to be kept in captivity if given the large enough enclosure given the space, given the right diet, and the right interaction. Like I said, they're intelligent animals, they're magnificent, they're really fun uh, to keep, but they are what I would consider a high level uh, animal. It's not something that, you know, beginning keepers should be getting because they do require a lot of space. They require a lot of care to keep them happy and healthy. So look at this, we're really in the jungle, kids. We are really seeing Slinky. Easy boy, that's my foot, that's my foot. We're really in this jungle, and, and he's not used to seeing me follow him into this jungle, so this is new for him. And uh, we just gotta be a little bit careful, but I love it. I want him to get used to me following him wherever I wanna go. Look at this, 
awesome aquascape ecosystem, friends. This is the Biofalls, keeping that water nice and clean, but we've got all these plants. Look at all these plants. I'm, I'm really in the jungle. We've got papyrus. We've got everything. We've got downed logs. Where are you going, Slate? Hold on. Wait for me. It's like I'm in a, oh, it's like I'm in a Southeast Asian jungle with this amazing animal. That's my tell he's, he's really curious because I don't normally do this. So he's like, what are you doing, Dad? Why are you following me in my little sanctuary? But this is so cool to be interacting with this animal. And, you know, when I was a little kid, maybe like some of the young people out there, you dream of this. You dream of being able to interact with these animals because not a lot of people give them the credit they deserve. They think they're stupid. Um, it's really a dream come true that I'm able to kind of hang out in such large enclosures with such an amazing animal. And, oh, that's my foot. You see how he turns around? He gets really excited like I'm gonna have more food for him. But it's not food, it's feet. It's my feet and I need them, Slinky. I need them, friend, I do. But again, so tolerant and he knows me. And it's these kind of interactions that enable him to kind of relax with me and allow him, I don't restrain him, I'm allowing him to do what he wants. But can you, I mean, look at this. How beautiful does he look in this enclosure? And, you know, just wanna mention that the Cayman Creek enclosure will eventually get this grown out. This has only been a, man, a year and a half or so since we built Slinky's environment. And gosh, this is like, like I said earlier, as a little kid, I dreamed of having something like this with a lizard like this. And it's truly, an honor and a privilege to be to have realized this kind of dream and uh, it's because of you guys you guys watch these videos um you're really interested and i'm just trying to inspire you guys to do the best you can for your animals as well to keep them happy and healthy and my gosh he is certainly a water monitor huh he is really enjoying this place and this is what makes me happy that i was able to do this for my lizard slinky who almost died a couple of years ago almost froze to death and i vowed that if he pulled through i would make sure that he had the most perfect environment that he would never have to be worried about anything again that he could just be the king and uh he certainly has achieved king status here on the channel you know we got the gators they may be the biggest and toughest here but slinky is definitely the boss Slinky is the king of the camp, and I love being able to uh, show him off to you guys. Like I said, it's been a little while. You see this? You see this? It's been a little while, but here he is, and he allows me to touch him. Allows me to give him a look at the muscles right there. Look at that incredible. Look at that tail, laterally compressed there, so he can swim really nicely. You see right there? Yeah. Look, he's swimming again. Such a massive, cool critter. Oh my gosh, this is the best. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. Uh, and I hope I'm inspiring you guys, whether you have a bearded dragon, a water dragon, or a slinky, you gotta make sure you're doing the absolute best for whatever species you're keeping. You notice how he's just always looking. Oh, slinky, did I upset you? So sorry, buddy. He got me that time right there. I'm a little wet. But yeah, slinky, just an amazing member of the camp. He stirred things up, but this pond stays nice and clean. We've got plants, we've got the fish in it, lots of African cichlids, and uh, it's just go time for Slinky, man. He loves it. All these plants have grown in here. It's uh, really a cool ecosystem that the guys at Aquascape uh, enable me to, to keep my animals in. Really, really love that collaboration. So again, just kind of thought I'd share a little time with Slinky as we haven't seen him in a little while. So I wanted to give you guys a little dose of the master of the camp. The king has returned. He's going submersible. That tongue works underwater. He hunts for fish underwater. He'll eat turtles in the wild. He'll eat absolutely anything he can stuff down his throat or tear chunks off. So Slinky is a opportunistic predator and scavenger. And that's why he's a monitor lizard. Because what he's doing right now is monitoring his ecosystem to see if there's any more treats. But I think the amount of food we gave him, he got a lot of chicken. I think he should be fat and happy for a little while. 
So I'm going to leave you guys right now. Thanks so much for watching Slinky and I hang out. I hope you enjoyed that. Let's not forget a little Pinky too. She's cute. Uh, but we are going to put some animals in her enclosure that you guys are going to be blown away by. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So uh, don't want to miss that video when it drops. And uh, in the meantime, I'm going to say goodbye to you guys. It's Slinky. I think Slinky wants to climb up and inspect me for any more goodies. Right, Slinky? All right, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, he's burped. Oh, God. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Let's hope Slinky is still in a good mood as he climbs up me here. <laughs> anyway, there's a lot more videos on this channel. Go ahead and check them out. And uh, maybe you can go back a few and see a bit more of the story of Slinky. All right, everyone. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much. See ya.